Many times I have a person say something like this to me. Chris, I'm absolutely lost. I don't know what to do. If you're lost and don't know what to do, I ask you to go to God because God knows what to do. Now, that's an easy thing to say, but how do you do it? So often when we feel lost and don't know what to do, we're gripping on to the unknown and it becomes a block. We are thinking in absolute distress, absolute worry, and we have to let go of that. The way that we can let go is to sit in the silence of prayer or to walk in the silence of prayer. I often do that. I take a walk in a beautiful area through the woods and I try to get Chris's mind off of the problem. Now when I do that, I let go of the problem and you'll be amazed at what happens. The minute you let go, the minute you're in silence, that's the minute or the millisecond that the answer from God comes to you. It's the first time God could get through. If you feel lost because you have no plan for proceeding in some undertaking that is important to you, if you feel helpless because you believe decisions vital to your present well-being need to be made right now, but you don't know which way to go. When you put aside all human thoughts and feelings of anxiety and look instead to God, the guidance that you seek will be revealed. When you're able to overcome this tendency of human mind to hold on to the bleak, you'll be flooded with the light and you'll find the answer to any question when you turn in prayer and in faith to God. It's not in faith to be worried and say, Oh God, please help me. I'm so lost and immersed in my worry. That's not faith. Really, the only answers that are lasting and good come when you clear your mind, when you empty yourself so that you may be filled with the divine ideas. You'll be shown the right way to go and also you'll be showing showing the loving way to go, the loving actions to take. Christ reveals the best, absolutely best plan of action and the best methods possible to bring about those blessings. You rejoice because the Christ never fails to assist you in working through any challenge. The Christ never fails to give you, fails to give you the added power and the intelligence that you need. And it will come when you need it. And it will come as you work with it. You know, Jesus said to the person, your faith has made you well. Well, your faith will make you well in your answer. You have free will to reject or accept your answer and when you clear yourself, when you are in the silence of prayer, you are releasing the anxiety and the stress and allowing God to come in. And you have, at that moment, the added power, the added intelligence that you need to live a successful and a fulfilling life.